Hello humanoids, welcome to Halfling Hobbies. I'm Halfling Hannah, and it's one thing for a player to die during an epic battle, or sacrificing themselves for the good of the party, or even during unexpected circumstances. But what is a DM to do when a player comes to you and says that they want to kill off their character and make a new one? Is it our fault? Should we allow it? These are the things that we're gonna talk about in today's video. Before we get started though, I just wanna give a quick shout out to my patrons like Sarah Martin who make this video possible. And if you wanna support me over on Patreon, I have lots of goodies for you over there. Also, the D&D cookbook is coming out very, very soon. And if you know anything about this halfling, you know that I love to cook, I love to eat, and I love to provide food for my players. So be sure to like and subscribe so that you can check out the future videos that are definitely going to include those recipes from the cookbook. All right, let's get started. Here we go. So your player comes to you and says, I want to kill off my character and make a new one. Now there's probably a lot of uh, questions going through your mind, at least when a player comes to me and says this, there certainly are. The first one that I always make sure I ask is why? I have a series of questions that I always ask to make sure that it's nothing that I am doing as a DM that is something that we can fix without carrying, killing off a character that we've worked really hard to develop. So the first question is, do you feel like you aren't contributing or that you're useless? This question is very important because as a DM, it's up to us to allow opportunities for characters to do what they were built to do. For your barbarians, you have fights, but for those who are built towards persuasion, you need to make sure that you have plenty of opportunities to use that skill as well. If you are overly one way or overly the other, it will not create a balanced game and some of your players will feel like they're useless and will very naturally want to roll a new character that better fits your DM in style. So asking this question and getting, getting an idea of whether or not your players need something more from you as a DM is a great place to start. My second question is always, do you not like your class? There are some classes that fit well with a character's personality and then some that don't. I, for instance, hate playing sorcerers and I'm not entirely sure why, but I created a sorcerer character thinking it would be super fun and ended up absolutely hating hating it. If your player simply doesn't like their class, maybe helping them understand their class and what they can do in that class will get them to like their character a little bit more. But if they are still stubbornly hating their class, then maybe they need a new character. Or maybe they need to multi-class into other areas and you can avoid killing off the character by simply allowing them the multi-class option. And then number three, I always ask, do you feel like your character is unimportant to the campaign? This one is squarely my fault if they answer yes. Each and every character should have a backstory, should have goals that connect into the plot and are important to the campaign. If a character does not feel like they are important or like contributing anything to the overall plot of the campaign, then obviously they're going to feel like they're expendable and they can simply kill off their character and make a new one whenever they need to. Now, you as the DM need to take a step back and make sure that you are providing opportunities for characters to reach their goals, to develop as characters and intertwining those backstories into your overall campaign. And of course, I have some videos to help you out with that as well. Finally, if your player is adamant, you've talked through all of these things and there is no giving up this idea of kill killing off their character and making a new one, they absolutely hate this character and they want a new one, well then you still have some options that aren't necessarily killing them off. I particularly like the idea of using curses or their backstory to kind of pull that character away from the party. Perhaps they get infected with lycanthropy, lycanthropy. 
lycanthropy. Perhaps they get infected with lycanthropy and for the good of the party they choose to isolate themselves and withdraw. Perhaps it is a cursed item that uh, gradually makes them more and more evil in their tendencies and not wanting to hurt their friends, they choose to leave instead. That one's always fun because then they can become the big, big bad of your campaign as well. Or perhaps it is something in their backstory that is drawing them away, uh, someone in their family that is sick or something that they have to do. This allows the character to exit without having to kill them and always allows you and the player the option of bringing that character back as needed for the story. Like I said, I like to have all of my backstories be important to the story as a whole, so I can't just be killing off players willy-nilly. Which is also why I don't do death in d and I've got a whole video about that. Go ahead and yell at me if you want to. I'm used to it. Finally, another option is to perhaps just end their story. If they have a goal that can be accomplished and that can be accomplished relatively quickly, perhaps that character simply finishes their goal, their task, whatever it is that they wanted to do. They finish that and that ends their story. And it's a good time for them to hang up their adventuring gear and go home and maybe be a farmer. Again, this allows them to come back later if they need to, but kind of wraps it all up um, and lets that player put that character aside and maybe make a new one. And then finally, if none of that is good enough, your player wants to go down in a blaze of glory, then make it good. Make it a really good battle. Do not kill them off in some weird, lame way. Make sure that they get a truly epic death. Maybe something that kind of ties into your plot. Uh, perhaps you could have the villain show up early and kill that particular member after a uh, fight that your party knows that they can't win and they end up killing that player to solidify uh, the party's hate for that villain. Or perhaps it's just an awesome monster fight that this uh, particular party member charges headfirst into the monster's jaws to defeat it, but is killed in the process. However you do it, make it fun, make it epic, make it memorable, and if at all possible, have it tie into your overall plot. So if your player decides that they want to kill off their character and roll a new one, always push back a little bit. Always ask some questions because even if they don't end up saying, okay, never mind, I don't want to kill my character, at least you have a little more information about what you can improve on as a DM. However, if your player hates their character, don't force them to continue to play it. This is supposed to be a fun game and playing a character you absolutely hate is not fun. So find a way to let them out of those obligations and roll a new character. However, I only let my players do this once per campaign so they can't be switching willy-nilly however they want to because then it becomes really hard on me as the DM to make all of those stories fit. What do you think? Do you allow your players to switch characters in the middle of a campaign or do you tell them that that is not an option? Do you allow multi-classing and do you think that's a viable option to allow players to enjoy a character that maybe they wouldn't have otherwise? Make sure to leave a comment down below with how you like to deal with this as a DM. These of course are just my opinions and how I handle it. And until next time my friends, may your game have advantage. Halfling Hannah here, signing out.